Well, I drove to the UPS customer center, left my trailer here, and just took the Jeep and, uh, and the truck. And so the first thing we gotta do is, we gotta make sure that they gave us the proper part. By the way, you see this? That's why it was leaking. Like on my old one, I was wondering what is this for, you know? And that's where it's leaking. I don't know if it's supposed to, like, what's the point of this? What does it say? Do not inflate unless fully secured in the suspension or other adequate structure at heights recommended in the design literature. Do not inflate to more than 100 psi. Bodily injury could result. Like, what are you supposed to do with this, right? But that's where it leaks. I know, because this one got bent in, inside. All right, one thing we gotta, last thing we gotta check. So the top looks proper. Now let's check the, okay, good here. Yep, perfect. You see this? That's why they couldn't install the, the airbag over there because the spacing over here is like eight inches. And the airbag the guy found, it was like five inches. So he said he could only put in could only put in one uh, one bolt but you see this is genuine genuine uh, good year and the uh, the rubber number is the same see perfect so I got confidence in uh, dealing with the with the I just need to figure out what to do with this because I don't want it to be damaged you know but I don't have a choice I gotta install it otherwise I'll, I'll get a ticket for for audible leak
Yeah, the guy at the shop, he used a jack. I don't have one, so... I see when I'm empty, it's barely leaking. But there's no weight. So now I see what's happening. Now the Jeep goes down and the airbags deflate. But this way you can take them out. Like if you don't do this, then the whole thing goes down and this plate pushes on the back. You cannot take it out. And that's what the guy did. The guy put a, a jack right here. And now there's no load on the Jeep. Yeah, I see. Empty, so now I can take it out. I just hope I have the proper tools. What, what's funny is that one thing I discovered is that that guy cheated. You can see over here we have four bolts. No, actually one here and two there. Three. Yeah, so there's three. For some reason, he could make it work with three. He only gave me two. <laughs> so, and the new one doesn't come with any... Uh, any nuts so my only concern is this i really don't like these quick connects you know i don't want it to start leaking but there's a truck stop right there maybe they have some kind of a sealant so if it doesn't work and you see that's what i did i put in this and that stopped uh that just made the leak smaller because like i said that's where it's leaking it's leaking where that hole is so let me just take it out and i'll show you remember that I have these spits nuts all right and we're gonna use this floss because yeah, I see I took off the top so right this just there's a nut you see and uh, there is some kind of a like so i can use the same i don't have that sealant but that's how i took it off for some reason okay it's good it's going but i'll have to i'll have to pry it down so now we just need to undo two bolts at the bottom and that's it Well, two bolts are out and I use a combination of this, this and the hammer and it looks like it's a three, three quarter bolt. Now the fun part. Has to go in. Otherwise, they won't be able to get it out.
Okay, and that's why it was leaking. You see this? The same thing, but you see it got it got pushed in somehow. You know, it got pushed in, and it's stuck in, and it started leaking. And it was very hard to hear because you know once it sits like this, like the air leaking out was coming all over, like surround sound, you know. And I couldn't figure out where, what's, what was leaking. Like first I thought maybe it was the uh, the tire. And you see, we used all this garbage. Like this rubber doesn't help. Because yeah, this just got pushed in. And now my concern is now how to... I don't want that to happen on this one. Because you see, it's the same design. So if this thing gets pushed in, we're gonna have the same problem, so it just welded over here. I suspect something is telling me that. Let's see underneath. Yeah, you see? They have a. There's a hole in there. You know? And I think that's where it's supposed to go. And when I ask a guy about this, he says, oh, that just, well, actually, it's three holes like this. So, but th there's only one way to connect this, right? There's no other way. That's where it goes. So two holes go here, you see? And the big thing goes in there. So, yeah, you see, that's where the um, the valve was, right? The valve was right there. But I, I remember the guy had some trouble. Uh, you know, when he installed it, half of the bag was away, and I said, I don't like this. I want the entire you know plate push into this so well actually wait a second so you see this is right opposite the valve right and that's what opposite the valve is that is that uh, hole in there you know so yeah so basically that's what it's for and i think what happened you know when when we were lifting the Jeep, right, and I forgot to pl to tighten these, so the bag extended and properly, and probably when they were putting it down, this thing jumped from under that hole where it's supposed to sit, and it hit this, you see, and then it just caved in and it started leaking. So very important to properly install it. Okay, so let me focus on this try to put it in i don't think it's going to be easy because this one is so much taller uh even empty but i had a couple of protein bars i had some pork rinds so i think we should be good
basically one trick I, I did it was impossible to see the holes so I took a can of red paint and I did like this you see I painted on the outside where the holes were because there's only four and this way you can clearly see from the top where they are so basically actually it's uh, I was wrong there's three bolts or well, nuts rather just the guy put them in the different order than before I'm just a bit worried about this that button on the top there it doesn't make sense that it sticks out like that feel a bit better <laughs> okay so hold on so I'm gonna tighten to the right so I gotta make this thing the opposite way otherwise once you, once you tighten it will start undoing itself this stuff uh, these are for my I use these for my shims by the way the other day I changed my shims see this I I had two two big ones and small one and I added this it was a quite an adventure but now I have more pressure on this axle because before it was a bit light too much weight was going in the back So anyway, see that's what it looks like, ugly bag, and again I still, if you guys know anything just leave a comment, what would be the purpose of this button over here, you know, because it doesn't make any sense, maybe like for over, like overloading or something, and these are all gifts from my fans. One guy sent me this. Alan from Keswick gave me this. Oh, and that's what I used. I used this flex seal. Maybe should have put in put it now. But too late. So that wasn't too bad. I just hope the, the airbag inflates properly because that's what can happen. It can 
you know, go sideways. And actually, the guy who uh, was doing this, oh yeah, you see, that's what I used. I used this paint to mark the spots. So, when the guy installed this, there was nothing here. You cannot see the back, and, and it was all sticking out here. I said, what is this? Oh, well, that's how it connected. Uh, he says, we probably attached the, the bottom part incorrectly. And then two minutes later, it sits like this. I said, what did you do? And he says, uh, oh, well, I just uh, moved the bag a little bit. All right. What's going to happen? Okay. Guys, make your bets. Well, if it explodes, it explodes. If it, uh, if it, if that button gets pushed in again and starts leaking, then that's it. Next time, I'll trust it to the. At least now I know what bag I need. Um, I'll just fix it again. Well, the decisive moment. I'm gonna hide in case it explodes. <laughs> well, if it wanted to explode, it probably would explode by now. See how, yeah, you see it did go sideways. But what is this? What is that sound again? I don't know what's going on with this truck but yeah you see this is not good I see how it sits oh wow it went all the way it went over the reservation see it's supposed to sit in here I don't think that's the proper way I'll probably have to redo it change the holes again I don't know I looked at this bag the original bag and there's two bolts check this out one here one here and the other one over here right which is totally different from that one and so what I did I duplicated that position and I believe now we should be much better you see now the the circle is right inside the frame it's not sticking out anywhere so and I didn't even have to disconnect this basically the rear it's like funny the rear stays in that position but you can still like this thing was still up right but you can still move I just moved the airbag maybe like one quarter of a turn all right let's hide <laughs> <laughs> or I like this you see it went in square beautiful not sticking out I don't know what that sound I don't care it looks like yeah the airbag is properly installed you see it sits in the middle of that disc job well done admiral sergey i'm super proud of you all right let's hide this mess uh, 
Now these boards, yeah, I see the boards are loose. That's good. So now we're gonna hide the boards in here, take my tools away, and then hook up with the Jeep to the machine, to the trailer. And I already have my uh, Manitoba permit, and I have my Ontario permit, and North Dakota and Manitoba, I can drive at night. And so that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna. There's uh, from here it's 150 miles to the border. I'm gonna leave around 10 o'clock at night and get to the border probably around one, cross into Manitoba, drive through Manitoba, and shut down at the rest area as soon as I enter Ontario because Ontario there was no no night driving, but right when you enter Ontario on. Um, on uh, highway 17 there's a rest area i i stayed there before so i guess you guys don't have too many comments about this operation i had all the proper tools the bag was missing misinstalled once but that stuff happens right so thanks for watching and take care and i think i'll be delivering probably around tuesday wednesday i'll do another video from somewhere uh, in ontario because uh, now it's fall is coming you know the trees are beautiful the scenery is gorgeous over there and i'll go on 17 11 through thunder bay it's gonna be epic